Hello everybody, Aiding the Tin Dogs here, and welcome to a trial let's play of Mario Party 4. The intro going. Everybody, we're so glad that you're here. <laughs> this is the party cube, and you're all invited. <laughs> this thing is chock full of fun. Come on, we'd like to show you around. Let's party, even though I don't know if that's how Toad's voice is now within this. This is Mario Party 4 for the Nintendo Game Cube, uh, in the party cube, uh, I do not have a save file with this, so this is kind of going to be like the previous trial let's play I did of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu where it's based off a fresh save file, uh, sure I'll start the file there. <laughs> I'm definitely rusty at this uh, let's play system, even the trial let's play system, but uh, got zero stars there. It says it's 8 slash 29. That is today. August 29th, 2023. And... Uh... I keep swapping around these men here. Uh, the memory card on this, it's reminding me of the GameCube Animal Crossing memory card. Uh, yeah, speaking of that, I wonder if that's even usable with this. card and slot B does not have enough free space available. To save this game you must have a memory card of two free blocks and one free save file. Please manage your data on the Nintendo GameCube memory card screen. Without saving, I'm try another memory card. Yeah, that YouTube town on the GameCube Animal Crossing is on that memory card. Let's get this 
started in the party mode because the story mode on this is similar to how it was in Mario Party 3. But you've got to play through all of the boards and make sure you win. I just wanted to do a party mode thingamajiggy right now. Let's get this started. It's in the starting. <laughs> that Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu thing, so it's got me thinking about the scanner. <laughs> it's even here a little bit. <laughs> I've got steam hands on my brain right now. <laughs> Who will I... I don't know, man. <laughs> this isn't Skinner. <laughs> oh, man. I'll pick Mario. Good old Mario Luigi. Yoshi. I don't even have the fourth difficulty unlocked on the Smash thing. I'll put them on normal. <laughs> Toad's Midway Madness. Yeah, there's five boards here. You got Goomba Greedy Gala, Shy Guy's Jungle Jam, Toad's Midway Madness, Boo's Haunted Bash, and Cooper Seaside Story. Freaking toad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, there's teams on this. So, like, if I have a second controller around, I can do that two players with one person, like I was kind of doing a lot. Good old 20 turns. In the game, set all bonuses on and no handicap. Yeah, sure. Gosh dang. Toad's Midway Madness. It's an amusement park. Welcome to Toad's Midway Madness. I'm Toad and I'll be your guide. I love amusement parks, so I designed my board to look just like one. Please enjoy the fun rides and leave your worries behind. Now let's decide the order of play. Alright. Compared to Mario Party 3, this is already feeling like a fresh pair of freaking shoes of all things. <laughs> freaking shoes. Everybody do your best! It says 80 Nintendo's making an impression of Toad from Mario Party 4. Hey, let me show you the first star I think. <laughs> That Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu trial let's play it didn't really got me going with just talking like non-player characters. <laughs> but there's no Professor Oak here, there's there's no Skinner, a human player. And I'm realizing the missed potential. <laughs> That was turning blue into sounding like Chalmers. <laughs> but that's that's something else. And this is something else. Uh. <laughs> we'll play a mini game. All right. Let's quit throw. 
Oh yeah, you have to unbox the mini games when you start a fresh Mario Party 4 save file, huh? When Toad raises a flag, you have to find a balloon that's the same color and shoot it. Controls explanation, move crosshair and press A to fire. The advice, keep your cursor between the balloons so you can get to any of them as soon as Toad raises the flag. <laughs> There's built-in rumble with the GameCube controller, so I don't want to worry too much about finding my Nintendo 64 controller pack. There's a nice amount of compare and contrasting to do with this. <laughs> Compared to how Mario Party 3 was a year ago. I've got a USB microphone, so I can literally speak up with this. Heck yeah. <laughs> Saving. Please do not touch the memory card and turn the power off. Huh. Sweet. <laughs> I still have steamed hands in my head from a few minutes ago. I'm thinking about this cool thing until it's my turn. Just. <laughs> I feel like I, I don't know. There's there's a lot to that, that I could say about this. It just, Mario Party Four. I'm moving on from the Nintendo 64 Mario Party. It's only taken a few years, but that's kind of what I've wanted to do since like 2020. Gosh dang. Yeah, 2020. I had the Mario Party One Let's Play. 2021. Uh. I don't know, I gave a mention to Mario Party 2, and then 2022, it was Mario Party 3, and now it's 2023, and now it's Mario Party 4. I'm one up in the years in this decade, but Mario Party every year. I don't know about Mario Party 5 next year, though. That That's some kind of... I don't know. It's something about the Mario Party 5 commercial with the pr presidency. But that's Mario Party 5 and the commercial. And this is Mario Party 4. It's time for some Mr. Blizzard's Brigade. Run on the frozen pond when avoiding the snowballs. Don't fight the blizzards. Dude. <laughs> Just gotta move with the controller stick. Move right before the blizzard throw the snowballs. They'll stop moving just before they throw. <laughs> Game number two, Mr. Blizzard's Brigade. Two out of 20. There's still battle spaces, so there's going to be battle mini games. <laughs> Why is there smoke coming out of your oven, Seymour? <laughs> oh, it's not smoke, it's steam. It's steamed, <laughs> steamed ham. <laughs> but what if? If I were to purchase fast food and disguise it as my own cookie. <laughs> I don't know if at this point I'm, I'm just <clears throat> get a lot of little ideas here and there. spaces on this board it's based around the roller coaster system uh, 
<laughs> yeah, but the bonus stars from earlier, they're still the exact the same how they are in Mario Party 3. The minigame star, the coin star, and the happening star. So there was a happening space I just went and on. That was something. There's a teacup systems in this board as well, but it's time for some cliffhangers. <laughs> Don't let the snowy winds blow you off the face as you climb. Grab hold with the wind and the rumble start to pick up. Yeah, the rumble system is integrated into the mini games as of this game as well, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the controls uh, move and press A to hold on. The advice is if the rumble feature is set to off, an exclamation mark will appear when the wind picks up to tell you when to hold on. <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to pick up with the USB microphone with the rumble feature. That's why I've got this as a trial let's play, not a full let's play, so I can practice up a little bit. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I'm overdoing it with this. I'm I don't want to play all of the boards, just straight up. Just one board right now. It's been a, it's been a decade already. The 2020s, in a crazy decade. <laughs> and I've, I've, I've still got this drilled in my head, a lesson learned. If I'm doing a Let's Play and finish it, like Mario Party 1 back in 2020, don't, don't delete it. Just keep it going. Upload it, keep it going. That was just, I don't know what to describe it as. I don't want to call it an honest mistake because I did go back and do a full Let's Play of Mario Party 1, but now it's Mario Party 4 time. Got a lot to say about this. There's a even a little uh, lottery system in this. You can pay five coins and you can play a little mini event. The mushroom system on this, it's not just a red mushroom, gold mushroom, uh, purple mushroom. The mushroom system on this is, is mini and mega. Where am I going with this? Yeah, normally I don't even really look at the map. Dude, okay, there it is. Magic lamp, sure. It's still here. We got a one versus three minigame going on right now. Making waves. There were no. Uh, it, 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 <laughs> making waves. Uh, the team players must pound the ground to make the waves, while the lone player must try to balance on the on the shell. Each has to move, and then Luigi, Yoshi, and Mario move and ground pound. And the advice here is try making waves from different angles to rock the shell. The lone player might have to move in circles to stay on board. Uh, 
But about that mushroom system in this, there's a mega mushroom and then a mini mushroom. Yeah, I can talk about that whenever it's on the board field. It's minigame time at the moment. This is an improvement from Mario Party 3 with the water graphical effects. The game in and of itself is reminding me of Tidal Toss. Just in a different format. Instead of the one player knocking down the three, the three have to knock down the one. got the even some mushroom spaces here with the you, there's a 50 50 chance of you either getting a mega mushroom which lets you grow large and you can roll two dice blocks or you can get a mini mushroom and grow small and roll one through five and there's also the super mega mushroom and the super mini mushroom which give you an extra dice block so if you get a super mega mushroom you've got three dice blocks you can use however you skip over some events like the star and the shop dang that's only with the mega mushroom though uh, you don't really skip over a lot of the board events with the mini mushroom. Mm, too far to too many game. Great deflate. Team rules. Do ground pounds on the inflated swamp repeatedly to deflate it. Controls explanation. A and A. Ground pound. You advise time your jumps of your partner to deflate the swamp faster. Just simple ground pounds. Time it with your teammate to. Uh, have an increase in power with it. I'm now realizing I don't have a cartridge to worry about possibly freezing up since I'm playing this on the since it's GameCube hardware instead of the Nintendo 64 hardware. I didn't even think about that before uh, preparing for this. There's a little bit of a saving within the hardware difference within this. And then there's, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> you gotta be careful if you land on the happening spaces when on the, uh, uh, what is it? The roller coaster, the orange roller coaster track. You give him a chance at the lottery shop. First time. K Gosh dang, that's kind of scratchy on my throat a little bit if I try to make a total impression. 
There's only little events you can do. You can rotate, and then you can win a prize. I won a prize. Marvelous. That gets you the second best prize if you have any coins. Congratulations. <laughs> How did I know to try to get this friends? <laughs> you hear some of the items here. Mini mushroom. Use this to become mini. But remember, the dice will only roll one through five. Mega mushroom. Use this to become mega. But remember, you will bypass all board events. Huh? Sparky sticker. Electrify space on the board and cause any player that passes over it to be shocked. And then the Super Mega Mushroom uses this to become Mega. Then you roll three dice at one time. And here's the Super Mega Mushroom. This become many. You get two dice. I thought you get three with that, huh? But they will only. You get two dice, but they still only roll one through five each. You get a Mega Mushroom. You can still only hold up to three items, and uh, you already have three items, so nothing happened. All right. Two versus two mini game. What's it gonna be? Cheap, cheap, sweet. On one hand, I'm kind of liking the question marks. It's keeping the mini games a big surprise. I really don't know which one it's gonna be next. It's cheap, cheap, sweet. Cast the cheap cheeps in your net. Red cheap cheeps are worth one point and yellow ones are worth two points. Use the control stick to move. Press A to catch. Press B to empty the net. Your net can only hold up to three cheap cheeps. Approach them slowly so you don't scare them away. Dude, <laughs> 21 to 4, the CPU Peach and CPU Yoshi just destroyed. <laughs> Despite uh, this being a GameCube game, I am still playing my GameCube games on my Wii for nice ease of access we're just going to be using this mega mushroom If you press L, you can still do the uh, taunt thing, like in Mario Party 2 and 3, but here it's not like a instant one frame thing. You have to, it, there's a little delay with it at this point. I'm going to be using the magic lamp here.
stars and three coins. Next star is over here. That's kind of close by. A little too close by. I can't afford it right now. I'm so sorry, but you need to have at least 20 coins to trade for a star. <laughs> Another Mega Mushroom. <laughs> I don't know, boom. Oh gosh, is this the... This is a mini game. Hide and go boom. The team players can hide in any of the four cannons. The home player must fire the cannons to find them. Uh, Peach has the light fuse, and then Luigi, Yoshi, and Mario have to pick a hiding spot. The last button pressed by each player decides which cannon uh, decides which cannon each player will hide in. Wait until you are off screen to hide. I don't know which button I'm going to be picking, so I'm just placing my hand over all four of the AVX Live buttons. I picked B, and then Peach picked the B, so... And Yoshi picked B. <laughs> this minigame almost ended within the span of one fuse going out. Alright, Peach, you're gonna press the A or the X cannon? The A cannon. Oh, there goes Luigi. Peach won the minigame. Landing on the battle game space. Battle game time. Oh gosh, what is this mini game? The Rumble fishing. Kind of mixing this up with a different mini game. In a similar theme. Press the It'd be the first player to reel in the cheap cheap. Whoever reels it in the fastest wins. You feel the rumble or see exclamation mark. Press the button as quickly as you can. Which button is it? Press A. Alright. I've still got I, I've got memories of this Mario Party game, but they're very vague and just somewhere else. I felt like I did the wrong thing there. I felt the rumble and I pressed A, but I'm, I guess, I guess and you, that's what you're supposed to do with it. I felt like I mistimed it, but no. With the Mega Mushroom, if you pass over another player while you're in the middle of moving, you can stomp on them and get 10 coins from them. Getting a little 
curious as to what turn it is and just checking out some of the settings here. Let's turn 8 out of 20. Yeah, mini game uh, controller settings, mini game exclamation settings, the C the calm mini game settings. Mini game settings itself set to all but easy. I'm keeping on all. And you have a built in rumble feature here. You can turn it on or off. Which is speed is set to normal, or you can set it to slow or fast. I'll I don't know, I'll keep it on normal. Turn save settings are set to ev save every turn. You still have a save setting here. And put it on don't save, and then you can quit. I don't want to do that. Quit this party and exit the party cube? No. <laughs> A yeah, four player mini game. Long claw of the law. Catch the character shown in the wanted poster three times to win. You can. You don't use the controller stick on this one here. Are you, actually, you do. I, I misread that. Press R to rotate right, press L to rotate left. You use control stick to move the. Up and down, I, I don't know. Catch character with the A button, and then the wanted character. The advice here is the wanted character is hidden behind a door. When you can't find him, either wait for a door or open to look at another door. So, who's the wanted character going to be here? A womp. You wanted to use the controller stick to move, but you have to press the L or R buttons to do that. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I wish he was a little faster with that. He wins the mini game. teacup system on this board you can either you have to go in the direction it says and the direction peach just went in it was not the direction towards the star she got a swap card I'm now a mushroom space with a mega mushroom from here. Try to go far but not too far that I overpass the star space. And on the mushroom space got a mini mushroom. The next two versus two being going to be reverse the bomb. Reverse the bomb. Press the corresponding buttons to redirect the ball bombs. Blow the other team up ten times to win. I'm really going to press the A button to press a button. 
new device here is explosions stop you from moving for a little while so when those buttons light up get to them quickly There's a timer? Huh. 